very good morning and welcome to adava news today thursday 25th of february 2016 paper highlights read by edward dudedas tavasagayam pillai today we have three newspapers for the highlights daily mirror daily news and silon today now let's move to daily mirror sri lanka making real progress key The visiting New Zealand Prime Minister John Key said that the Sri Lankan government was making real progress as it undertook significant programs of post war reconciliation and economic reform. The Sri Lankan government is making real progress as it undertakes a significant program of post war reconciliation and economic reform and the opportunities for us to work closer are immense. New Zealand Prime Minister's office said quoting Mr Key New Zealand can play a role in the country's development through sharing our expertise and technology in areas such as dairy he said Prime Minister Key launched two significant dairy development projects in Colombo yesterday afternoon aimed at supporting Sri Lankan dairy farmers and boosting New Zealand's role in Sri Lanka's dairy industry the agreement was reached at a meeting between Premier Key Sri Lankan President Maithripala Sirisena Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe and other cabinet ministers yesterday. Crime continues says joint opposition. Crimes such as murders, rape, abduction and robberies had continued even during the present regime though there was a slight decrease. Parliament was informed yesterday. This was revealed in an answer tabled by the government in response to a question raised by joint opposition MP Udaya Gaman Pillar in the house last morning as per the answer there had been 407 murders in the country within 10 months up to October 2015 compared to 407 in 2014 the number of rape cases during the same period in 2015 had been 1708 compared to 1735 in the previous year There has been 208 abductions from January 1, 2015 to October 31, 2015, whereas the number of abductions in 2014 had been 245. However, number of extortions has increased during the period between January 1, 2015 to October 31, 2015 to 27 compared to 25 in 2014. Ranavaka says Castro follows Maitri Ranil. Megapoli and Western Development Minister Patali Champika Ranavaka said Cuban leader Raul Castro seemed to be following the policy of President Maitri Pala Sirisena and Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe when he extended an invitation to United States President Barack Obama to visit Cuba in June. Addressing a function in Colombo, he said the Cuban leader had come to terms with global realities and decided to afford a red carpet welcome to the US president. Secondly, let's move to Daily News. No show by Emil Kandal. Former senior LTTE leader Emil Kandan, wanted in connection with attempted murder of former minister Douglas Devananda, was not present in court yesterday, although his counsel undertook to facilitate his surrender before courts at the previous hearing. Counsel Laxman Pereira, appearing on behalf of Emil Kandan, informed Colombo Special High Court Commissioner Judge Airangani Pereira that his client could not return to the country due to Colombo Fort Magistrate's refusal to recall a warrant against him. Bar the murder case. Trial at bar bench inspects crime scene. The Colombo High Court's trial at bar bench appointed to hear bar the Laxman Prema Chandra murder case yesterday inspected the locations where the crimes had taken place in Himbutana. Special trial at bar comprising three High Court judges Shiran Gunaratna, Patmini N. Ranavaka and CBS Morais yesterday visited four locations in Angoda. Muleriyawa and Himbutana consequent to a request made by senior state council Tusis Mudalige 16 deported from Australia arrested at BIA 16 Sri Lankans deported from Australia were arrested at the Bandaranaike International Airport by the Crime Investigation Division when they were returning police media unit said all of them were males police media unit sources added 
According to the CID, they had allegedly gone to Australia by boat in 2012. They are to be produced before the Nigambu Magistrate and the Criminal Investigation Division in Katunayaka are carrying out further investigations. Finally, let's move to Ceylon today. Rape murder of little Harishnavi. North explodes into Hattal. All schools and shops in Jaffna, Kalinochi and Waunia put up shutters yesterday to join angry villagers and townsfolk in a major head trial demanding arrest and punishment of those responsible for the rape and murder of 13-year-old Harish Nabi Gangadharan. U.S. endorses democratic progress in Sri Lanka. The United States in 2015 strongly endorsed democratic progress in Sri Lanka, says Secretary of State John Kerry. 22,254 Tamil Buddhists in Sri Lanka, 11 Tamil monks. Parliament was informed yesterday that there are 22,254 Tamil Buddhists and 11 Tamil Buddhist monks in Sri Lanka. This information was disclosed in a written answer tabled by Chief Government Whip Gayanda Karma Tilaka in reply to a question posed by UNP Matra District Parliamentarian Bhutika Patirana. Rajiv Gandhi assassination, Nalini gets 24-hour parole. Nalini Sridharan, a convict in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, was on Wednesday granted a 12-hour parole to attend the last rites of her father. With that, we come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to Adavan News.